It's the most Catholic state in the country. The latest Pew survey shows more than one in three Rhode Islanders are Catholic. And Bishop Thomas Tobin has endured success and hardship in his 10 years as leader of the Roman Catholic Church of Providence. I sat down with the bishop for a look back at his decade in the diocese and what the future has in store for local parishes. It's a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News tonight. So we're trying hard. It's no secret Bishop Thomas Tobin bleeds the black and gold colors of the Pittsburgh Steelers and isn't afraid of commenting on any topic, including deflate gate. Actually, my theory is that Tom wants to be suspended for the first game so he doesn't have to play the Steelers. Yeah. But that's just an inside theory. On a serious note, Sunday, May 31st, Bishop Tobin celebrates his 10th anniversary as the leader of the Roman Catholic Church in Rhode Island, something close to his heart, charitable outreach. And I think it's important the church try to be involved in that kind of work of helping people. We've learned in the last 10 years the diocese has raised more than $78 million for Catholic charity alone, which includes dozens of agencies, including the Emanuel House Emergency Overnight Shelter. Another important outreach, the Keep the Heat On campaign. One of the things I like about the Keep the Heat On is it does provide direct assistance. I know because of that campaign that there are individuals and families and children who are staying warm during the winter. The bishop says the renovation of the cathedral and the Bishop McVinney Auditorium in Providence and helping immigrants and refugees are positive developments. But there are major challenges. In the past 10 years, 15 Catholic schools and four churches have closed. Four priests have also been suspended for sexual misconduct. And as we reported first, multiple parishes being administered by one priest. As you know, the number of priests available for active ministry is declining. And it's declining very rapidly. And the numbers I've been using in the last six years, we've had a loss of 46 priests from active ministry. And in the same six years, we've only had 10 ordained. There are some Catholics, non-Catholics, politicians, even some of your fellow priests say sometimes that you are a lightning rod for controversy. <laughs> How do you respond to that? As I've said many times, um, I was not ordained to be irrelevant, and the church was not commissioned to be irrelevant. Pope Francis himself has encouraged us to be involved in these issues. So when I speak out about something, whether it's... Um, uh, abortion or same-sex marriage or care of immigration or care of the poor or marriage or family whatever it might be um, I hope I, I manage to do that in some clear and respectful way but at the end of the day you know I'm working hard and doing what I can do but I can't solve every problem I can't do everything but I'm doing my best and um, the Lord has to take care of everything else the bishop told me he plans a low-key celebration. That includes a cookout at the Emanuel House next week. He'll celebrate 25 years as a bishop in 2017.